We've got two equations here. We want to find out where these lines cross. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to graph them and we're going to find the common point of intersection. So this equation you can see is already in the slope intercept form, the y equals mx plus b form. So all we have to do is graph the y intercept and the slope. So let's do that over here. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, negative 8. Okay, so it crosses right there. The slope is 2, so up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, okay, and so on. Okay, so there's our line. The second line is in the standard form, so what we're going to do here is we're going to set x to 0, solve for the y-intercept, so you can see y equals 3, and then if we set y to 0, you can see x equals 4 when we divide by 3. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, those are our two lines. Now, it looks like they're crossing somewhere right around here at 3 and a half, comma, a half. And this is the downside to the um, graphing method is that if your line's a little bit off, your point of intersection is going to be a little bit off. And so if you're doing a problem like this, what you're going to want to do is take that point that you think is a common point of intersection, go ahead and put it back in and make sure that it satisfies both equations.